Minecraft is a multiplayer and single-player sandbox-based game that was released in 2011 to worldwide acclaim and continues to enjoy a massive reputation today. It has two main modes, a construction-based free-play creative mode and a combat-based survival mode. It is currently the best-selling game of all time, having exceeded 200 million sales over the last 10 years, so today, I'm going to review it. First, I'm going to give you an overview of Minecraft and tell you about the gaming experience. Next, I'll analyze why this game has been so popular, and finally, I'll rate it using the game tally. First, a little background. Minecraft was developed by Mojang, with development being primarily overseen by Marcus Persson and Jens Bergensen. The project initially broke ground in May of 2009, being released as a primitive developmental version later that month. In mid-November 2011, the full version of Minecraft was finally released to the public. The initial reception was relatively good, with reviewers praising the game's content but criticizing its numerous bugs and glitches. A massive surge in popularity soon ensued, and the game has put out numerous updates such as the recent Clay Caves and Clips update and the famous Redstone update, which has helped to dramatically improve and shape the game to the way it is today, while remaining relevant with its massive player base. The game was, was initially released with two modes, Creative and Survival, but has been expanded since to include a Hardcore mode, Adventure mode, and Multiplayer mode since then. Each world of Minecraft has three different dimensions, the Overworld, the Never, and the End. The Overworld is the main dimension and is modeled after Earth. It has many different biomes ranging from forests to deserts, and most gameplay takes place here. The next biome, the Never, is based on the Underworld and revolves heavily around fire and lava. It can be accessed from the Overworld by building a Never portal out of Obsidian. The final and third dimension is the End, which is based on the alien, moon-like world. It contains the Ender Dragon, which must be defeated to beat the game in survival mode. One of the most famous elements in Minecraft is blocks. Blocks are items representing various materials such as stone and dirt and make up the entire world and its terrain. Blocks can also be mined and put to a player's inventory and placed by the player to build structures as well. Some blocks, such as doors and chests, are functional given the input of a player, and others, like redstone, can be used to do work. Mobs are also an important element in Minecraft. There are generally three kinds, animals, monsters, and bosses. Animals include cows and sheep, which can be killed for food and in some cases providing an obtainable resource such as milk or wool. Certain animals, such as wolves, can be tamed in order to help the player, and villagers, who are non-player characters that spawn the villagers that you can trade with for resources and other items. There are three modes to play the game, Creative, Survival, and Hardcore. The first, Creative, is a sandbox construction focused game that revolves around the free construction of creations. It is much easier to play than Survival and grants you several exclusive tools to help you build, such as the ability to fly, infinite health, unlimited inventory, and immortality. The next mode, Survival, is a combat based mode which, Unlike creative mode, revolves around achieving certain goals in order to win the game. There are two submodes to this mode, Adventure, which has no monsters, and Hardcore, where you cannot respawn. The basic plot of the game is gathering resources and making special items such as doors and windows with the use of a crafting table in order to make a base while protecting yourself from and fighting various monsters that spawn at night. You can craft various tools such as swords and bows that allow you to engage in combat and pickaxes and shovels, which allow you to gather resources. It should be noted, however, that as you get a gather more valuable minerals, like iron and even diamond, you can craft more powerful and durable tools. Speaking of durability, each tool can only be used a certain amount of times before breaking, but can be repaired using an anvil. Along with weapons, there are many other weapons that will help you in combat. The most important one is armor, which can be crafted from minerals like iron and diamond, and will give you more protection in combat. The second one is, po is potions, which can be crafted from various substances and never wart, which can either be used to give you special powers or harm your enemies. One of the most important items you need to stay alive in survival is food. Food can be obtained from growing plants on a farm or killing animals for food. You can cook the meat that you obtain of a furnace to make it more potent in restoring your hunger bar and, in turn, your health. It should be noted that furnaces can also be used for other applications, such as smelting the ore you mine. 
To beat the game, you must build an ender pool, portal or just find one inside a stronghold. Once the portal is activated with the eyes of Ender, which can be obtained from Endermen, you are transported to the end. The end is a moonlight dimension that hosts a powerful Ender Dragon, which you must kill to win the game. Once you do, a portal back to the main world opens up, and upon entering, a poem and the game's credits play. Now, on to the gaming experience. The game is very well coded, as you'll expect from one of the most popular games, and runs very smoothly except for a few extraneous glitches here and there. The game is also very customizable as well, with many settings that you can change to suit your needs. You can also choose from many different characters in the game. So, that's my take on Minecraft. It is simply the most popular game of all time, with 200 million copies sold, and for good reason. Unlike many other games, it has massive appeal, with tons of action and possibilities, and considering it truly has something for everyone, it comes as a little surprise that it remains so popular. In a flat, on to the game tally. First up is the gameplay key segment. Starting at the first category, content, few games have as many possibilities as Minecraft and easily earns a 5 out of 5. Next up with quality, Minecraft is nearly flawless and it gets a 5 out of 5. Third, with features, Minecraft is really configurable, so it gets a 5 out of 5. Fourth, with design, Minecraft is very well thought out, and it gets a 5 out of 5. Finally, with action, Minecraft is absolutely action-packed, except for a few dead moments, so it gets a 4 out of 5. Now for the community seg uh, segment. For the first category, fairness, Minecraft is reasonably fair except for a few loopholes, earning it a 4 out of 5. Next up of character, Minecraft is very well known, giving it a 5 out of 5. Minecraft also does very well of satisfaction and is very rewarding, earning it a 5 out of 5. Fourth, with audience, Minecraft is rated 10 plus so it gets a 4 out of 5. Finally, with value, the $30 may pony up may seem a little steep at first, but few games will ever match the endless possibilities and things the game allows you to do, so it easily earns a 5 out of 5. Add it all up, and Minecraft's game tally is 47 out of 50. Here's how it compares against other popular games I've scored. Minecraft does extremely well, soaring at the very top of the spreadsheet and making it the best game I've reviewed. Perhaps it should be no surprise then why it has become so popular.